everybody! Alright, welcome back to Eorzea. Um, it's been a bit of time, uh, probably not for you guys, but it's been a bit of a time for me um, since I last played on this character. Um, if you'll recall, I've probably complained about it a couple of times in the last couple of videos. I've been having issues with my game freezing and such, and it actually turned out to be an issue with my hard drive, so I had to get a new one and move my game to it and... Uh, update and I moved to Windows 10 for the hell of it and <laughs> some other things and I've uh, messed with sound levels and I've done all sorts of little improvements here or hopefully improvements here um, and now I am ready to continue this let's play and I am hoping that it will be improved so uh, without further ado I saw that last I left off um, we were we had just turned in the uh, a quest to Sissy Poo here about uh, oil lamps and the the Makote lady getting her getting uh, uh what was it the Makote girl getting me to do her dirty work um and then Sisipu had another quest for us so I think we shall start there and we'll turn in Edelweiss Edelweiss and that should definitely put us over the top for level five we'll hit the Marauders Guild and I'm also hoping um that I'll be able to do the Marauders Guild quest and then also move on to Summerford and do a little main story by the end of this um, because I am actually able to record for an hour now instead of small bursts because I was afraid that the um, that the recording would freeze and corrupt um, and that's not an issue anymore thankfully uh, so yay for hardware improvements anyway um, that hard and the to be fair the hard drive that I was using did serve me well for about four years so <laughs> it had it finally had some kind of small issue. I don't know what it is exactly, but whatever. I'll figure that. I'll troubleshoot that later. Anyway, enough of my uh, hardware technical troubles. Let's get playing the game. All right, so Sisipu, what do you got for me? Back in the water, Sisipu of the Fisherman's Guild wants to order a new fishing boat. Okay. The calamity really knocked the wind out of the fishing industry's sails, but fisher folk are starting to return to the seas once more. It's past time I did the same. But before I can set out to see it put out to sea again, I need to have a new boat built. Our guild has always commissioned Naldegan Vimelis for its crafts, but they are beastly busy these days. If you want to do s if you want for something to do, mayhap you could run over to the Armorer's Guild and consult with Forge Master Hananza in my stead. I would know how long we might expect to have to wait. Okay. I can do that for you. I don't think I've actually I don't think I've actually been to the, um, Armorer's Guild. What do you normally say, Sisipu? You've sunk to Fisherman's Bottom, a place for fishermen. You can't go lower than here. Uh, I'd beg to differ on that, but still. Uh, okay, what do you do here? You're the guild leader, obviously. I'm Sisipu, the guildmaster. Well, technically, acting guildmaster. Acting guildmaster? The actual guildmaster, Wabalago, apparently has better things to do than administer a guild, and so it falls to me. Wabalago. That's the guy outside, isn't it? The one who was talking about women and fish. Oh, I feel so sorry for you, honey. <laughs> okay. Not, I mean, not too sorry for you, because you seem to have it taken care of, but still, you have my sympathy. Alright. In hindsight, the thought of a fisherman neglecting his duty shouldn't have come as such a surprise to me. I suppose, kind of, yeah. The fishermen, you know, there's a reason hobbits love fishing, so yeah, <laughs> okay. And you guys aren't hobbits, but I'm just saying, like, you can be lazy with it, I guess. Okay, whatever. I don't know what fishing... I've only fished, like, twice in real life, and it wasn't particularly easy. Um, so, I don't know what they talk about with lazy fishing. But I guess once you get the hang of it, you can be lazy at it if you want. But whatever. Alright, uh, what does a fisherman do? They catch fish. That's gonna... She's gonna be like, what is wrong with you? Why are you asking me this? But I'm gonna ask... Our guild, our guild members live by a simple code. We catch fish. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> from serene seas to roaring rivers, from large lagoons to puny ponds, where there are fish to be fished, the fishermen's guild will fish them. Fishing with nets can yield a, far, a fair haul, but requires a ship and trustworthy ship hands. Since you haven't access to a vessel or any apparent friends... <laughs> are you saying I don't have any friends? All right, we will not concern ourselves with nets any apparent friends. Thanks a lot. Spare the rod and spoil the adventure, as they say. You'll not need it. <laughs> I like that. You'll not need an army aboard a dreadnought to catch a fish. You will need only a rod and your wits. Quite fitting for a self-sufficient adventurer like yourself. Do you not agree? Yes, it is. 
After all, we so what sort of adventurer wants to browse the net wants to browse the nets for hours upon hours when you could be enjoying the great outdoors with a rod and wheel? Good point. I like how she thinks. Minus the not apparent no apparent friends comment. I'm not really sure I'm happy with that. But whatever. Alright. So, we have to turn in her quest um, to the Armorer's Guild. Now, the Armorer's Guild is, I believe, upstairs. Uh, yes, this is showing the upper decks, and right now we are in the lower decks uh, down here. So, the Armorer's Guild is up on top of this column. Is it? Yes. Yes, it is. I think. Let me see. Yeah, that's where it is. Alright, but first, we will head over here and turn in this um, Edelweiss, Edelweiss, deliver the package to the dutiful sisters of Lion... To the dutiful sisters... No, deliver the package for the dutiful sisters to Lonward. I decided to call him Lonnie, if I remember correctly. So you are Lonnie. Now let me just make sure about this. Um... Janissim of the Brewcare Consortium has co has asked you to make a delivery, has tasked you with making a delivery, a gift parcel for services rendered to the dutiful sisters of the Edelweiss. Head to the sisters' convent, in quotes for some reason, found near the Fisherman's Bottom, and hand the package directly to Leonward. Lonward. Lonnie. I'm saying Lonnie. I can't say his name. So, yeah. Anyway. Hey, Lonnie. I have a package for you. Hi, this is Dutiful Sisters of the Edelweiss, a house of deep reflection and meditation. So unless you've come, so unless you've proper business with us, you can kindly bugger off. Well, that's not very nice from a gate ward of like a nun or a nunnery or whatever or a convent. Although this, honestly, this is kind of a weird place for a convent, isn't it? I can't look behind me right now, but it is—it's kind of a weird place for a convent. I mean, I can't look at the map either. Oh well, but still, it is. Well, whatever. All right, what do you got? Okay. So, package for the Dutiful Sisters, a plain wrapped box, unmarked save for the words Dutiful Sisters of the Edelweiss. This is all very mysterious. <laughs> I don't know why. But here you go, I have a package for you. What's this then? A parcel from the Vrugare Consortium, eh? Let's have a peek inside. Ooh, a walnut bread and ginger cookies. <laughs> what? And a few of them Bismarck finger sandwiches too. Them consortium calls know the right way to show appreciation. They sent you food. Some of them sisters have unholy appetites, so I'd best save a few bites for myself before I take this inside. <clears throat> you let Janessum know that we're always here, to sh here should her boss have need of us again. Yes, get all professional about that. Totally stealing their food. You're gonna steal food from the sisters. That's not very nice. What kind of gatekeep are you? There's not behind these convent, convent doors for a worldly type like you, Mrs. We're the dutiful sisters of the Edelweiss, all pure and saintly-like. Now bugger off. We're the sisters. You're the... Really? Okay. You know what? I'm not even gonna ask. Weird place. Jeez. Okay. Let's just head back up and mind our own business for now. He did have a quest, but it wasn't a quest that I think it said, what, level 10? Uh, level 1, so you want to be a rogue. Okay. It does spoil it on the map what that is, but I'm playing along. Um, anyway, no one saw that. No one saw anything. Shh. Alright. Okay, let's head up to the Armorer's Guild, and we will take things from there. So it's nice. I love Limsa Loom and said, like, it's because it's all white stone, I think. But Limsa on a sunny day like this is just, with the sun off on the side like that, is just really, really gorgeous. I mean, look at this. Just, yeah, I'm going on about it again. I like to run around with the UI off sometimes, so that's what I'm going to do. Wait, no. Uh, they should be... I should go... Oh, I should have gone down. Oh, well. Hold on a second. I don't think I've been up here before, have I? I don't think so. My, uh... <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. You guys can read the screen yourselves for that one. <laughs> not doing it. I don't care anymore. Well, I care, but I'm not doing that one. I haven't been over here. Nothing is over here. The anchor yard. Let's see if anything... Nothing is directing me over here, but let's see if there's anything over here. It's got good views. Especially at the convent, I guess. Ooh, the lighthouse. 
Now that is cool. I like that. There's NPCs here. Alright, what do you guys have to say? Uh. Okay, I missed it. Hold on. Alright, let's see what you guys are saying. I'd, I want to see him fly, Captain. And why should I take on something such... What? Okay, now I'm not getting it. And why should I take on a scrag such as yourself? I want to see him fly, Captain. Okay, so that's talking to this guy here. Have to... <laughs> His answer to the question is I er, have an eye patch. And then she says I was going to say that. Which you don't actually have an eye patch, you have a mask. But you don't. Do you have an eye patch? No, you don't have an eye patch either. Alright, whatever. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I get the feeling that you're kind of SOL looking at the people around him at the moment. But okay, let's see here. Yamoy. Are you hoping to join our crew? You'll have to wait in the back of the line and wait your turn just like the walk to the back of the line and wait your turn just like these others. Uh, perhaps the captain will like your face. Perhaps he'll pitch you over the wall. Well, that's an interview process. There are many and more willing to raise his f rise, <laughs> willing to risk his fickle favor for a chance to serve on Lim Lane's most beloved ship. Okay, who are you? Who is this guy? Doesn't say. Okay. Well, apparently he's a ship captain. Actually, I think I may know who he is, but I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not going to go into it. But if he is who I think it is, then it'll come up at some point later. Anyway, that's a good view of the aft castle. I like that. That's cool looking. And then the harbor. Yeah, I am, I am way too in love with the pretty in this game. All right. Go down here, avoid those two. Okay. What's this place? The High Highline? Highline. So it's basically like the Seventh Sage was. 30 barrels, do you? Alright, not caught again. And what are you saying? Alright. The ship needs all the salted cod you can spare. Okay. <laughs> So he's complaining about that. And then that guy's trying to sell them 30 barrels. Alright, got it. Alright, Holus Fish. Holus. Holus Fish? It's a fishmonger. You have no talking, you just have stuff. Okay. Note to self where I can buy these things, because I will need them eventually. Thank you very much. Alright, now this way. Okay, here we go. This is to the Armorer's Guild. Okay. Hello. Landsteer. There ain't not as boils me blood as the sight of an untrained whelp given free range at the forge. The work floor is akin to an armorer's battlefield, and you should bloody and you should bloody well steer clear if you ain't got the necessary skills. Your shoddy armors like so, like to get some poor sod killed. Okay, well he cares about the quality of his armor. Good to know he knows the gravity of it. Giving a new guy free range, I suppose, would be bad. Although, I can't see the people here doing that, but sure. Alright, so that's my quest for- that's Ananza. What's in here? Okay, if I go in here- oh, I could have used the door, duh. Alright, if I go in here, we've got this guy, Brithile. Brithile? Brithile. Yeah, sure. Guildmaster. Welcome, welcome. What brings you to the Blacksmith's Guild? Blacksmith's Guild, okay. Not the one I wanted to- look at, but uh, might as well check this out. Alright, what do you do here? Oh, not much. I'm just f I'm just forge master of this here guild. I ain't one to stand on ceremony, though, so you can just as well call me... So you can just... Bleh. So you can just call me Brit... Brit Hale again. Brit Hale? Brit ah, dang it. Okay. Brit Hale. I'm calling him Brit Hale. As for what old Brit Hale does, well, what I enjoy doing is looking after the new recruits, training them and whatnot. Of course, as an employee of Naldic and Vimelli's, I got a whole mess of other or other duties besides. For instance, making sure contacts get, contracts get fulfilled and securing new ones. Fortunately, Forge Master Hananza of the Armorer's Guild usually handles that shite, else I wouldn't have time to keep me thirst at bay. Okay, so the Blacksmithing and the Armorsmithing Guild are both part of a company? Naldic and Vimelli's? That's kind of... that's interesting. It's not just a guild, then. It's... they actually have a profit model. <laughs> to keep themselves afloat so they can continue being a guild. That's kind of cool. Alright, what is blacksmithing? 
Well, uh, in essence, you take some raw ore, smelt it into a hunk of metal, heat it, t heat it till it's bleeding hot, then pound the hells out of it until it looks the way you want. That's... that's... If that's simple, yes. <laughs> or if you're asking about the difference between blacksmith and an armor, and well, whereas armorers make armor, we smithies make weapons and tools. We're talking swords and lances, axes and pickaxes, needles and knives, sharp sticks. Well, maybe not sharp sticks. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, to craft all that, you need to know how to work all manner of me all manner of metals. Some folk think a strong arm's all it takes, but that ain't the half of it. You won't go far without the knowledge and technique essential to the craft. That plus hard work and dedication, I all oh, that's key to blacksmithing. Okay, hard work, dedication, eye for the craft. Okay, so you guys are weaponsmiths, basically, but you don't call yourselves weaponsmiths. Because it's weapons made of metal. Okay, um, so this is cool. Alright, this is harder than it looks. Oh, he's keeping the forge going at the right temperature. That's neat. I like... Watch out, dude. Um, <laughs> that's neat. Okay, cool. Alright, can I talk to any of these guys? Mm, I can't talk to any of them, they don't have names, but... Oh. Ain't no one, no one will blink an eye if you go and singe your frillies on the in the forge. Yeah, I should probably stay away from that. Um, not that I have very many frillies to speak of, I'm just saying. Alright, and then these guys, guild receptionist. Alright, Gowanako is the armorer guild receptionist. If you're looking to devote yourself to the art of shape and metal plates, then the armorer's guild is your temple. There ain't no sword sharp enough, no, or axe big enough, that we can't forge a suit of armor to protect against it. Okay, and then the blacksmith guy. The best god's damn blacksmiths in the realm work these forges day and night. Every time we see, I see him finish a new piece, my heart swells with pride. Plate or chain, no armor can withstand a guild forge weapon. I'd stake me life on it. Cool. Alright. This is cool. Has a bunch of clutter around that's related to armor smithing and stuff. And Okay, fine. I'll go out the door. Jeez. Man, it's still pretty out here. <laughs> ah. Uh, here's someone with a name. Dear Stwitta. I joined the guild with the dream of following and forge master Hananza's steps, but every day brings another lesson in humility. Mayhap it isn't meant to be. I don't be too hard on yourself. I'm sure it's fine. Maybe. I don't know, really. But, you know. Keep stiff upper lip. Stiff upper lip and all that. Alright. Phase higher. Due to, an ongoing re due to ongoing reconstruction, demand for guild steel has never been higher. Be that as it may, the forger forge masters cannot expect to maintain record profits without effort. If Naldic and Vermeli, and Vermeli is to remain successful for decades to come, they must ever pursue new ma new markets abroad. Alas, prosperity can dull a man's wits just as, a st just as well as a stiff drink. Okay, so you're arguing for them still keeping up on the business opportunities. Got it. I don't know what you guys are talking about, but okay. Alright. Okay, so Hananza, again, I will talk to you in a second. Let me just see, is there any kind of small talk to these guys? I don't think so. Nah, these are just guild suppliers. They have many crafts, many things for you to use when you are crafting, which I cannot do yet, but yeah. Swithin. Swithin the Smith. Okay, um, Swithin is Smithin. I could say that, yeah. It is true that a powerful rivalry exists between armorers and smitties, but it is not a contest born of spite. Our guilds will soon lay aside their differences to work together on a large commission, such as, say, a warship. That's not to say there isn't the occasional squabble, of course. You guys are working on a warship, huh? Or will be. Alright, Grenade. I've been thinking about mu much about ships these bleh. I've been thinking much about ships these past days. And you know, I don't believe Limsa the Minsa would be the nation she is now without them. Could you imagine how that would affect fishing, trade, naval defense? I mean, you can't really have naval defense without ships. All those vessels are constructed by skilled armorers and smitties, so if you think of Limsa the Minsa as a ship, you might consider such artisans to be the sturdy keel on which the rest of the city is built. That's kind of cool, actually. Alright, castaways, I guess. Or, well, either castaways or that's, like, the next shipment or something. Cool. Okay. More castaway stuff and ingots. I don't know what that ore is, but okay. Alright. I love those shades. Okay. <laughs> hey, Hananza. You look not at all intimidating. Uh-huh. Sure. 
A new boat for uh, a new boat for the fishermen's guild. Now I'm afraid now isn't the best time. You see, we have recently taken a commission for a galleon. This task alone has our ha has all our hands full. But look, I will see what I can do. The Fisherman's Guild has long been one of our best clients, and I would be loath to disappoint Sisipu. It may yet take a while, but I shall endeavor to have her boat ready in a timely fashion. Okay, thank you. I appreciate that. Sisipu seems cool. I wouldn't want to disappoint her either. Oh! Okay, um, you can now accept the next class or job quest because you hit level 5! These quests are offer opportunities not only to earn gill items and gear, but also new class and job specific actions. Now, I didn't get any new, um, qu a new ability with that quest, but that's, or with that level up, but that's okay. Alright, Hananza, what do you got for me? Probably send me back around town somewhere. Um, Hananza has a simple yet profitable task for an adventure, for an interested adventurer. The Rats and the Wharf. Okay. Hmm? Are you in need of some trifling task to pass the time? Then I have just the job for you. That's not really what I'm looking for. Whatever. Uh, Bataran is offering a reward to any adventurer who slays at least five wharf rats. There's no shortage of the pests lurking outside the Tempest Gate, so you should hurry and take advantage of this opportunity. Um. Okay. So you're just going to send me back to Bataran then? I guess. With the well, whatever. Yeah, I can do that. More XP. Hopefully some cash too. All right, so that is Naldekin Vimelis, aka the Armorer and Metalsmith, or er, dang it, Armorer and Blacksmith's Guild. All right, so that was that. Okay, is there anything? I don't think I've talked to Emania over here. Uh, let's see, who in their right mind would eat bleeding lamprey? I'll take three lampreys, and then she's offering bream cod and other things and lamprey. <laughs> Mania. My son has flown the nest, and I know not sorry, I know not of what has become of him. Each day I buy more fish than I need, that I might have a meal to feed him should he wander back through our door. Oh, that's really sad. Why did you have to tell me that? <laughs> Why are you telling me that, old lady? Putting that on me. I'm a random stranger. Why would you share that? Nah, I mean I'm glad she shared that, but still, that was sad. I didn't need that. Now I'm depressed. Time to go kill some things and get undepressed. All right. Now, hopefully, if I adjusted the sound levels correctly, the combat music should not drown out when I'm talking. I might be too loud as it is. I don't think I am, but I'm trying not to yell. Um, but I figured out a way to get maximum sound for you guys, um, while still be able to talk in a normal volume and not be like over or overpowered by the other sound of the game. Is by setting my computer sound at 100. So it sounds kind of loud to me, but it should sound okay to you guys. I'm hoping. We will see. <laughs> Alright. Two. Kill another warp rider. Okay. Uh, okay. They're over here. Oh, I had him in my hunting lock. Well, that's a double win-win for me. Well, not double win-win, just single win-win, but still... Okay, and the final one. You guys don't drop anything. Although, not that I really want anything off of a rat. Maybe rat tails or something. They could, they could be useful. But, yeah. Alright. Heading back in. Did I talk to you guys when I was out here before? Alright. Feel the wind that comes in from Morby, from Morby Bay, did you? Feel t fit, to, bleh, fit to haul chestnuts. No wonder the gate back there is called the Tempest Gate. Oh, the wind is really strong. That's what she's saying. Okay. I was like, what? I, have d I don't have experience hulling chestnuts. So it took me a second to realize that she meant shucking them from their from their husks. Or from their nutshells. So, yeah, that was confusing. Um, but yeah. Alright, so yeah, that's why. Okay, really strong wind here. And then the other guy was comparing it to, like, bodily functions at the other gate. So... Actually... No, wait, was that another guy? I don't know. There are two guys comparing different things. Anyway, I have, I believe, already been to Maelstrom Command. If I have not, I will do that at a later date when I have to deal with grand companies. It's not important right now. It's just cool. But it's not important. Alright. So, now, yeah, I have to talk to Botteron. That's what I thought. Oh, yeah, there's an Inia. She still thinks she's going to get another quest out of me. Haha. <laughs> anyway. Hey, Botteron. 
Oh, so you slew a few rats. Good on you, Les. All right. The, this bloke comes through the other day and plops this then plops this huge sack of a sack the size of a bleeding gobu, 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 on the counter, saying any man with slays rats can have something from within. When I inquires as to why, all he says is the damn is the damn noise they make when scurrying about is driving him insane. You ask me though, he was already a bit touched. <laughs> Sounds like it. Something tells me the poor lad will never find peace. <laughs> all right, well I'm gonna get a new headgear. Thing is, okay, of course, like I sh I really should have taken that um, level five bodygear I had access to earlier. I'm gonna see about the market board having something, but um. I can't really take the headgear because that will get rid of the headgear that I'm currently wearing that gives me an XP bonus. So I think I'll just take the gold this time. <laughs> okay. Alright, so Badaran doesn't have anything. Alright, fine. I will I will look into this quest, but if she's pulling my leg again, I swear. Let me get so I can see her. Alright, fool me once. Yeah, exactly. Ninia has information that, unlike last time, is sure to be of interest to you. Uh-huh. Oh, you've returned. I hope you do not harbor any ill will towards me for my earlier deception. No, not at all. <laughs> you see, I believe the most important lesson for a green adventurer to learn is that she should always question the motives of everyone she meets. Oh, I'm questioning now. If I have given offense, allow me to make it up to you with some advice. Tell me, have you visited the eyes outside the Tempest Gate and past Madman Bridge? The sentry station there keep watch over the road, and when trouble arises, they, some they sometimes turn to outside help. If you wish to make a name for yourself as a trustworthy adventurer, you should speak to and Krita at the eyes and offer your assistance. Okay. Um, what level is this? Level four. Huh. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. Okay, I can go turn in... Let me go turn in the Brugger Consortium quest. And see what the Marauder's Guild quest is. And then I will head out to the Eyes. Maybe. Okay, well, I'll do the Marauder's quest first, I guess. Because that's up on this level. And then I'll go downstairs. Turn in the Edelweiss, Edelweiss thing. And then I will see about going to the Eyes if it's on the way. But I'm in no hurry to do her any favors right now. That may make me petty but I'm okay with that. Okay. See, do I have any level five gear that I can actually wear now? Oh, I can wear these gloves. Equip those. It looks odd, but okay. All right. Talking to you. Oh, I can get a custom made gear. Okay, well, it's a good thing I didn't bother with that, um, with picking up that level five thing then. This I've already got on this I don't want. I could use the shoes, I suppose, but still, no, nah, I'll be taking that, uh, that cuirass then. Okay, cool. Level 5, Axe in the Stone. Axe Master Warren Zoan wishes for you to exper wishes you to experience a traditional marauder training method. Okay. Regana, you approach me with a marauder's strides, determined, unswerving, and bereft of the hesitation that marked our first meeting. I'm, <laughs> I'm pleased. <laughs> I'm sorry. I am pleased. The time has come for you to begin a new stage in your training. Now, what sets the axe aside from the, from the gladius or the dagger? It is the raw, unstoppable destruction wrought by its thick, heavy blade. And that overwhelming power can only be properly directed by extraordinary physical strength. Makes sense. Thus, we come to the core of today's lesson. Such strength as a marauder possess must possess is developed through a traditional method passed down through the generations of the guild, a method that you too shall be taught to employ. Present yourself to Bronebar uh, in the practice area downstairs, and he shall instruct you further. Okay, Bronebar. Got it. So I get to learn traditional training methods. This ought to be fun, I guess. Rihanna's pretty, like, she's got some muscles, so she should do all right. Okay. Bronebar, Bronebar. There you are. Right with the big blue thing over your head. Hey, Bronebar. Your hair is very moving. Okay. Um, anyway, the Axe Master told me you'd be on your... Jeez. Okay. <laughs> the Axe Master told me you'd be on your way. My name's, my name's Bronebar. Good it is to meet a new marauder. Now, we axe wielders build strength and control by splitting boulders. That's right, our traditional method involves smashing a rock with your axe. 
Well, that damages the axe. But you can't just use any old use just any old swing. You need to hit it with hit the rock just so. Rotgeim, a fellow marauder, is waiting just outside the just outside the Zephyr Gate by the bridge over the Rogue River. She'll tell you how it's done. Okay. All right. Well, off I go. <coughs> This better not damage my axe, though. I don't know. Does my axe even have... What's my condition on my axe? 96%. It'll probably damage it a little bit, but it'll probably be fine. I mean, this is traditional training method. It can't be not fine, can it? Alright, so... I guess I'll just... I'll pop by the Bruger Consortium people on the way outside. So I'll go this way. Just hit up the... Just pop on through the restaurant and go downstairs. Excuse me. I didn't look. This probably gives me a new ability, too. It might. I'm not sure, actually. I'll check the journal when I have a chance. Uh, axe and stone. Do I also get a... Nope, I don't get a new ability. Oh, well. But still, I get a queer ass, so that'll be cool. I get armor. All right. You've delivered the package as requested. Very good. I shall pass on the se sister's sentiments to my superior. Hmm? What manner of services do the dutiful sisters provide? Continue your stay in Limsa Limits, and you'll likely find out soon enough. In fact, if you're confident in your abilities and comfortable with the unconventional, you might even wish to approach them yourself. Okay. Well, that was... You know, suitably vague, but thanks. I'll figure it out eventually, I guess. Alright, what do I got? Um, let me just make sure. I am level 5 now. Let me just make sure I don't have any other gear that I want to actually put on that is armor that could, you know, protect me. These are um, various things I picked up through my, through my mail because of veterans rewards, which I won't get into right now. But yeah, um, nope, none of these are armor. So I have no pants, basically. <laughs> I have no armor pants, so like, even when I get the cuirass, I'm still going to have no, like, I'm gonna have a skirt. It's gonna be awkward. Just a little bit, but whatever. <laughs> I will learn to live with it. Okay. All right, let's just hit up the Marauder's quest where Ooh, I have to kill that. Come here, ladybug. Consider it practice for boulder smashing. Alright, there we go. Yes, I did just run up right next to this giant thing and not worry about it at all, but I saw that he was passive, so it's okay. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Alright. Little ladybug. How many more do I have of you? Three. Or two, I guess. I don't see any other ones around here. Oh, well, good enough for now. Okay. Wait, where am I running to? Oh, it's on the map. Okay. Alright, you said across the river. There we go. Rotgeim. Rotgeim? Rotgeim. Hello. Greetings, lass. Ready to split the stone? Ready to split some stone, are you? I have three nice hard rocks for you to build up sweat on. Don't try nothing fancy now. Just hit him with a good, solid, heavy swing. Okay. I can do that. Oop. What is... That's a ladybug. I was about to attack it, but that would be very stupid since it's level 50. Okay. <laughs> I think I'll leave that one alone. Unless it seeks vengeance for its fellows. Alright. Heavy swing on that rock. Heavy swing on that rock. Yep. There's a bee cloud. I need to kill those two. Alright, and heavy swing on this rock. If I can... There we go. There we go. Now let me just heavy swing on this bee cloud. Bees! Ah! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> really funny if you had a big cage mode you could go into when this happened. Now. Alright, there we go. Another bee cloud over there. Yes, I am bothering to do this now instead of later.
That is a very glowy bird. Okay. Never mind. I was looking at the mount there, but I am not interested in joining the fate right now, especially level 7 fate when I'm only level 5. I'd probably be fine, but still. Alright. Well, what do you know? Hello, bees. Give me that XP. I probably only have to kill one more. Yep, oh, two out of three. Alright. There we go. Woohoo! Alright, beast log entry com er, not beast log, hunting log entry complete. Alright, that's the way to do it, Les. Now you've got the idea, why don't you take it up a notch and use your skull sunder to break up, the break up a few more. Okay, use skull sunder on a couple of rocks now. Where? Nope, that's not the rocks. Where? I see a glow on the hillside. Ah, here we go. Alright, I can do that. Okay. Alright, and should be last one. Look at Reg working hard. I'm so proud of her. <laughs> okay, you scared me. Don't do that. Alright. Okay, done. I can see you're a natural. Me head's, me head's still ringing with the sound of cracking boulders. Take yourself back to the ac ma to Axe Master Ro Warren Zoan and let him know you're ready for something harder. Okay. Alright. The main quest is my next goal, I swear. Um. But while I'm out here. Nah. No. You know. Oh, hello. I'm gonna run back to the X to the Guildmaster, and then I think. Because Summerford is what? Summerford is a level 4 quest as well. Fool Me Once is a level 4 quest, but Fool Me Once is like nowhere near- where am I running? Um, <laughs> anyway, Fool Me Once is nowhere near like where I want to be, I don't think. Because, okay, Lower Lanoshia, or Lanoshia, um, yeah, the eyes is right here, which is like right outside where the gate is, but not anywhere close to Summerford Farms. Summerford Farms is over here. So I think I will I think I will continue the main story quest after I turn this in, but let's get that um, piece of armor from our guildmaster and get a little bit uh, better set to deal with the main story, whatever the main story throws at us. So. Alright, here we are. Let's get in there and claim our armor. Guildmaster, I'm back. Has the training loosened your muscles and focused your mind, Regana? An urgent request for help has arrived from the Red Rooster Stead, and I have chosen you to respond. It appears a hostile group of megalo, megalo crabs has unwittingly elicited, elected itself your next test, the next test of your prowess. As this is your first outing and as on official, yeah. As this is your first outing on official Marauder duty, you shall be accompanied by a veteran conjurer by the name of Sulkwip. She awaits you on the floor below. My devastation, may devastation follow in your wake. I like that blessing, that's kinda cool. Okay, well that sucks though, cause I don't get my armor, dang it. Although Red Rooster, wait. Wait. Red Rooster Stead is right here. Which is right, okay, it looks like Ninia's quest is getting done sooner than I thought. I was silly to think that the uh, Marauder's quest, or that the guild quest was over that quickly, wasn't I? Like, six rocks and I get a piece of armor. Wasn't happening, huh? Fine. Alright, Silkwib. Hello, Silkwib. Hi, Regana. I know who you are. My brother often has me escort his fledgling Marauders on their more dangerous tasks. I suppose Warren Zoan expects me to give you the details, then. Very well. It seems the farmers need us to clear a uh, clear out a megalo well, clear out a megalo crab nest near the Morning Widow in Lower Lanosia. Lan I keep saying it wrong. Lower Lanosia. I shall trust you to find your own way there. Just don't forget your axe. I'll try not to. Thank you. That's Warren's own sister. Interacting. I'm pretty sure you've shown me this like three times. But if I want to interact with something, I right click it. I got it. Thank you very much. 
All right. She left. She's gone. Okay, she is long gone. Okay, so yeah, it looks like Ninia's quest and talking to those guys might be done quicker than I thought. Because I'm going that way anyway. Although the Morning Widow is the river right there, so it's actually not the rooster stead itself. I'm just going to port. Um, it's not actually the... Oh, I can't port to gates yet because I haven't... I've been forgetting to touch the Ethernet shards. No! Which one am I missing? Probably the one near the Armor's Guild. Well, I will pick that up on the way out. <laughs> oh, the one on the other side of the aft castle, too. I'm pretty sure I didn't tune, attune myself to that one, either. Well, that's pretty. Hmm. Okay, but yeah, um, so Ninny is going to be getting her quest done sooner than I thought. I've said that, like, a few times, but yeah. Um, so, Megalo Crabs. That doesn't sound good. I don't think I've actually seen one yet. But that... Man, that lighthouse is cool looking. Alright. I don't think that sounds very good, though, because Mega and Crab together. Not a good idea. Alright, attuning, attuning, come on. Now I have Ethernet code. Okay. You've attuned yourself to all the Ethernet charts and limits and limits. Uh, yes. Alright, the Zephyr Gate, the Tempest Gate, and the Airship Landing are now accessible Ethernet donation uh, destinations. Which I now don't need to use because I'm on the side of it, but whatever. Okay, let me move, please. Thank you. Alright. I'm over here already, so I'll just use the actual gate. But, in the future, I can now port directly to outside the city at either gate, which is cool. And that is the benefit of attuning to all the Ethernet shards. Okay. Now, just to make sure I am going the right place. Alright, that's Axe in the Stone. That's Ninia's quest. Alright. It's a nice night. I know I keep commenting on the on how the game looks and the skyboxes and everything, but it is. It's a nice night. Alright, but let's see what we got here. Okay, we've got river toads. Ooh, we've got Aurelia. Alright, just a second. Might as well take them out and get the XP while I'm at it. It'll put me up to level 6, which will make me better for this duty. Well, it might put me up to level 6. I don't know if it'll make me level 6 or not, but hopefully. Okay, I didn't even need the actual hunter log. I just needed to kill one. Oh, I'm getting plus 70% experience with my resting bonus and the uh, and the feather that I've got on. <laughs> There's a benefit to being away from the game. Resting bonuses are very nice. Alright, there we go. Okay. Now let's check out this Megalo Crab Nest. Actually, I think I'll be in third person for this. Interacting. Interacting. Oh, cutscene. Hmm. Hmm. Looks like nobody's home. Mayhap they knew we were coming. Maybe. Aid! I need aid! <sighs> Please, it's my grandson. Them snippets, them snippers have got him. I told Sigurd not to get too close. I told him. Get the weapon ready, Regana. We need to move. Now. Got it. There's a kid involved? Kid uh, wait, where am I going? Where am I going? Where are we going? Okay, this way. Sorry, Fate. You're gonna have to deal with that on your own. Alright. Where are we going? Up. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay. Uh, duty calls. Commence battle for Axe in the Stone. If your level is above 9, it will be synced. Yes, I want to fight this. I think. <laughs> Do I want to fight this? Yes, I want to fight this. Look look at that kid cowering. I have to fight this. Whoa. Okay. Yep. Gotta get in the way here. Ah, bugger and shake. Get away from me, you, great, you bloody great bastard. Some language on that kid. 
back up. All right, get out of here, kid. Go on. Okay, time to fight. Whoa, uh, what am I? Whoop! hi. Okay, yep. That's that. Um, I hope you're really- yeah, you will soothe my wounds. Good, because I hope you're a really good conjurer. I will try to keep them off you. Okay, apparently I have no shot at getting his aggro, so let me just get this. She seems to have a bigger health bar than me anyway. Alright, I have potions at the ready just in case. Alright, I might as well use one just to pop that back up. Alright, cause more damage from behind. When did I get this? Fracture, okay. Oh, because I leveled. Right. Alright. Come on, you guys. Can we fracture? Can we fracture you? Bleeding bleeding damage? What does fracture do? Wounds are bleeding, causing damage over time. It's a potency of... Lasts for 18 seconds and it's a potency of 100. Which is pretty good, I guess? Again, the potency numbers don't mean much to me. But that's the same as Skull Thunder, so that's good. Oh! Bone Bar's here! Got room for one more. Can't let the novice have all the fun. Okay, apparently I should stick with the little guys. Alright, thanks, Bronvar, for coming. You take those guys, please. Alright, I guess I don't really need to use my potions, but I'm okay with make easing up on the easing the burden on the healer a little bit if I can. Yeah, he's got that. Just kill it. Kill it now. Okay. You get you get a bleed, and then my combo. Some of these bastards are harder than the damn boulders. <laughs> I suppose so, Bronvar. Whoa! What was that? Okay. Well, good job. <laughs> you just took out, like, three of them at once, but thank you. Okay! Awesome! We win! And the kid's fine in the middle of the river, but still fine. Thank you, miss. I thought I was dead for sure. You're okay. You're welcome, kid. I can't even play outside no more, what with all the scary monsters about. Me ma and me da, they was both killed by some nasty bugger not so long ago. An aurox, big as a mountain. But I bet you could beat it. Aye, make it pay for what it did to me and me folks. You take it easy now, son. There's a whole guild full of sna strapping lads and lasses like Regana here who'll be glad to do just that. Yeah, she's right. All you need to do is head home with your grandpa. Let us worry about this big nasty bugger. Yeah, don't let the kid go off adventuring on his own to try and kill it. Which I think is what he was kind of trying to do. <laughs> I don't know. I think he was just hanging out. Anyway, um, consider your first duty a success, Regana. It's time you headed back as well. Before we're in zone begins to worry, I've left your corpse for the crabs. <laughs> I appreciate you not doing that. And Bronebar, appreciate this. Appreciate the assist, man. You're real bro. It's <laughs> probably what his name means. Like, Brother Bear or something, probably. Alright. So, I see that, um... I will go back to the Marauder's Guild to get my piece of armor, but I might as well... T I mean, we were able to handle Megalo Crabs. I might as well take whatever these people have to throw at me. And I should be able to help them out, too. So, and Krita. You say someone told you to come look for come to me for work less. I'm afraid you've been had. You know what? I'm I'm so happy with how I I did with that last mission. I don't even care. It's fine. It's totally fine. I was expecting it anyway. It's fine. We're known to hire adventurers, tis true, but we're always we're, but we always go through the adventurers guild. Even if I wanted to assign you duties, yellow jacket regulations prohibit me from doing so directly. 
That's good to know in the future. Now, if you don't mind working in an unofficial capacity, I have a personal request I can make of you. Okay. Personal request. Go ahead. What you got for me? Alright, sound truth, guys. Cry me a liver? Okay. Me granddaw's head of the Red Rooster Stead. Anaox. Anna. Anaox. Anaok. Anaok? What, whatever. Is his name. <laughs> He asked me to bring him some river-toed livers, but the mere thought of pulling slimy livers out of slimy frogs gives me the shivers. Maybe you'd catch a fetch... Care to fetch... Sorry, I was rhyming too much. Care to fetch a liver or three for me. You can get them by slaying the river toads what dwell round the eyes. No, that shouldn't be too hard. And should be pretty quick. Alright, fine. And then I will go back and... You know, again, I don't care. I'm letting it go. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm not talking to Ninja ever again. I've decided. I'm just gonna do my own thing, be on my way, and just never speak to her again. Never make eye contact, don't care. She's not even gonna know that she had me and that she got me because I, I'm never gonna give up, I'm never gonna let on. I'm just gonna ignore her. It's not that hard, she's very small. Two out of three. There we go. Three out of three. Do you want me to go deliver them to your grandfather too? Uh, yes. Actually, apparently she does. Never mind. Report to Ann Krita. What's the description say while I'm running around? Okay. Uh, Ann Krita's grandfather... Oh, wait, no. Ancreta is the... Oh, yeah, the grandfather has a similar-ish name, but no. Alright, Ancreta. You're a lifesaver venture. Now, I take these livers to Granda myself... Okay, she does. Uh, but I can't just up and leave me post. Not to mention the mere sight of those slimy things makes me stomach churn. Apparently, I don't mind so much. Right. Would you mind doing, d doing the delivering to me... The, doing the delivering in me stead? Find old Anoak Anno in the Red Rooster stead, and you can turn those river toad livers into gold. Or to gill. Okay. Yeah, might as well while I'm here. <sighs> oh, look at that. Dodos. Hello. How's it going? My hunting log says that I need to kill you. So I'm going to kill you. I'm going to take you out while I'm here. Okay. This is called multitasking. Well, not anymore, he's dead now. But it was called multitasking. Okay. And one more over here, probably. Two out of three. So, one more. Start with Fracture, get the bleed on, and take you out. And not get hit by whatever you're throwing. Okay. There we go! Alright, not a total waste to come over here. Plus, I'm going to get Gil, apparently, so... Red Rooster Farm. Or Red Rooster Stead, I mean. Hmm, I see some arbors out there. So I guess they farm around here. Kinda cool. Red Rooster Stead. Okay, there's a bunch of quests here. Oh, I'm gonna get so distracted. <laughs> I keep meaning to go to the main quest, but I'm getting so distracted. <laughs> Dang it. Okay, fine. Let's just turn in this uh, toad liver first. Yeah, three. Three more quests. Okay, um, I lied about getting the main quest this episode. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I swear, this is the last time I send that granddaughter of mine to fetch river toad livers. That's probably a good idea, since she apparently hates the things. The soft, spongy liver of a river-twelling giganto- Ew, that's- Ew. Thank you very much. Why, these are the livers I asked for. I should have known better, and Krita has been dainty since she was a wee lass. I, re I regret any trouble that we've caused you. It's okay. I've heard that the New Worlders use fish livers as a fertilizer, so I thought I'd give toad livers a try. A farmer can't be afraid to try new things. Nay, he must grow his knowledge as he grows his crops. Okay, well, at least I go into a good cause, then. That's how this farm grew to be what it is. You do well to stick around and see. Okay. Okay. Hmm. 
Look, they all have things they need me to do. And, like, a quest in here, too? Just for the heck of it? No. Okay. Alright, well, um, that looks like that's gonna be it for today. Um, <laughs> for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, like and subscribe if you did. And next episode, we will be helping out on Red Rooster Stead, it looks like. So, yeah, I swear I am going to get to Summerford Farm at some point. It will happen in the near-ish future. But, yeah, I can't really, I can't really say when. I'm sorry. <laughs> I might get distracted. Who knows? Anyway, I hope you liked, uh, I hope you liked the video, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Have a good one.